Hello everyone! Thank you for checking out my channel. And for today's video, I'm gonna teach you everything about the date function. Okay? As I have mentioned on the previous video, we have several data types. We have several data types that the Microsoft Excel is accepting. We have the numeric data type, the date data type, the texts and the logical data type okay so in the previous video as well i've already discussed the numeric data type okay ibig sabihin ng numeric data type lahat ng mga data natin are numbers when we say date data type ibig sabihin all our inputs are dates of course if text data type then texts and if logical it's either true or false Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to teach you date functions. Okay, now we've already discussed numeric functions, including the sum function, mean, max, and average function. And now, let's learn about the date functions. Okay, so the date function, we have several date functions. We have the today, now day month year date and so on so now isa isayin po natin siya now we have here the start date and the end date actually any random date will do okay now today function will tell you what is the date today okay so whenever you want to input on your excel the date today according to your system's date then you have to use the today function all you have to do is to type equal sign as indicator that this is a formula or a function then write today function and no parameters needed just click enter now uh, as shown here is the current date today which is june 16 2021 so this today function uh, outputs the date today okay how about the now function well the now function outputs the date today plus the exact time so all i have to do is to write now function then hit enter as you can see here's the date today and here's the time how about the day of course the day as you can see here in the formula there is uh, day function and a parameter which is the date okay which is we are referring to this one the date okay so this function identifies what day or what particular day is on our uh, date okay so ibig sabihin we are identifying uh, the current day okay so all we have to do is to write the function day and of course the parameters for example this one then ang output po nito ay whatever the day na nandito sa reference natin will be shown here once we hit enter and that's it it's six meaning it's the sixth day of the month 11 or november okay how about the month of course if we want to identify what month it is, then we have to type the month function, then our reference, and hit enter. And it's 11, as indicated here. So, katulad lang din ng year. So, year, parenthesis, then your reference or parameter, then that's it. That's your year. Now, the date function... Uh, will show us the complete date so as you can see here we have three parameters first of course the year month and date okay type date then the year which is this one the month and the date and hit enter then this is the complete date including the year the month and the day okay so, tandaan lang natin lahat ng mga functions na ito. Now, 
let's proceed with the date difference. Okay? So, ito yung date difference. Ibig sabihin po, we are calculating how many years, months, and days have already gone up to the present date. Okay? So, let's say this is our start date and this is the end date. Okay, so this is very common if we want to calculate how old are we? Of course, the year, the month, and the date. Oh, so let's see. So just write or type equal date diff parentheses. Then we have here three parameters. The start date, the end date, and the Y indicating that year is what we are looking for. So, let's say this is the start date, the end date, comma, then quotation Y as year yung hinahanap natin, kaya Y, then hit enter. Okay? So, ang um, date differences ng year 2021 to 1997 is 24. That's why 24 output natin. How about how many months uh, the date differences are? So, date diff is, of course, the start date, the end date, and we are looking for month. So, quotation M, then hit enter. So, there are already 288 months. From 1997 to 2021. Okay? That's clear, I guess. So, let's say the day. So, date diff. The start date, which is this one. And the end date. Of course, we are looking for the day. So, quotation D. And there are already 8,700. 67 days are there in these dates okay so how about if we are looking for the exact number of days month and year so let's say we have here uh, the year and the day okay so let's say they are already yes they are already 24 years from 1997 to 1990 or to 2021 but now let's find out how many months have gone after 24 years okay so right date diff of course the start date the end date and this time since we are looking for uh, the remaining months in the twen uh, in the years calculated. So let's write Y M to calculate the months. Okay, so zero. So ex exactly twenty four years and gap from start date to end date. Yes, it is on November and November dinto. So obviously zero month in lalabas dito. Okay, so if we change this to 12, of course, there is one ga uh, one month gap between these dates. So obviously, meron tayo ditong 1. Kuwa. Okay, how about the remaining days? So date diff, then what is our start date, the end date, and course from months to days we are calculating the remaining days so we have one because ang nandito sa start date natin is six and sa end date natin ay seven so to calculate po alam pa kung ilang taon ka na okay so you are 24 years old one month and one day okay so that's the, the uh, date differences or date diff function works now, let's proceed here. Uh, this tab naman will calculate uh, the sum or the difference between your dates. Okay, let's say we want to... 
subtract 5 days to this date. Of course, click on the date, subtract by the number of days we want to subtract. Then that's it. So from 11.6 to 11.1, we have subtracted 5 days to this date. Now, if we want to add 5 days to this date, then we have to change only the operations, which is the addition operation. Then, the number of days we want to add, and that's it. We already add date. Now, this one. How about this one? Okay. Now, if we want to subtract or add months to the date then we have to use this function which is the a date okay so all we have to do is to write equal sign type e date function then in under this e date we have two parameters the date which is this one and the number of days we want to add okay then hit enter by this we have added 12 or I mean 10 months to this date. That's why it becomes 12. Now, what if we want to subtract 10 days on a particular date? So, again, e date, then we have two parameters. First is the date, then the number we want to subtract. Then hit enter. So, by this, we have subtracted. 10 days from the particular date okay now how about we want to add and subtract years actually number of years this is number of years i'm sorry we want to subtract years from this date so all we have to do is to write e date then um, as you observe the e date only calculates months okay then if we want to use e date here of course we have two parameters if we want to use e date here this will calculate only the months so all we have to do is to multiply it by 12 so that it will be converted to years okay and that's it from 1997 plus 5 years equals to 2022. Okay, if we want to subtract also, of course, E date to calculate the months. And the first parameter, the second parameter, and we have to convert it to years by multiplying 12 months, then that's it. We have already deducted 5 years from this date. Okay. So that's all with the date function. I hope you've learned something today. And let's wait for the text function and the logical functions that is coming. Okay. Thank you so much and bless up. Bye.